Today's wine text is the 2016 Vignoble and Compagnie Chateauneuf de Pop. So guys, like we've said many, many times before, 2016 Chateauneuf de Pops are easily the hottest vintage we've seen in a very, very long time. These are some of the most collectible style wines uh, from Southern Rhone and some of the, you know, kind of more approachable and, and dense style red wines that you can get out there. Uh, this is uh, easily one of the warmer climates within Chateauneuf de Pop, so I think that the fruit on the wine is going to be much more prominent, a lot more of that kind of bruised plum, dark cherry, uh, lots of kind of dark currants. But the actual unique so the soil that's here is these little pebbles, and the little pebbles in the clay kind of give a really unique earthiness and a really high mineral note. There's a little bit of this kind of limestone thing that goes on in there that I usually find in white wines, so I think you'll find a little bit prominent in this wine as well. But because of the warm climate, you're going to get a massively full body wine. This is going to be one of the darkest Chateau Neuf de Pops that we've offered so far and the concentration and complexities are going to be very very high along with the alcohol actually being a little higher as well. Don't be afraid though the wine definitely has some time and oak. The intensity of the wine will always match the alcohol in these style wines um, and honestly even though it is 2016 this is a wine that you could easily lay down for another 10, 15, maybe even 20 years. These are some of the most age-worthy wines in the world, and 2016 is a vintage that is really made for that, you know, long-term aging. Really cool wine, super small production, uh, really great price for a good Chateau de Pop, especially coming from the 2016 vintage. Enjoy.